Rated M for Mature. Get ready for those S ranks with the 10 long shots every sniper elite 4 player should bag. You might be able to best Carl Fairburn at close range with automatic weaponry, although let's face it, probably not, but put a few hundred meters between you and there's only one winner. The guy with the scope, the steady hand and lungs the size of Norway. So finding the spots on Sniper Elite 4's wide open playgrounds where you can really push this whole sniping thing to its limits is a noble and worthy activity. I mean it's entertaining enough taking someone out from far enough away that your bullet would need a passport to cover the distance, but there's also the challenge of nailing the shot from so far away. You know, you're pushing the limits of your equipment and your own ability. And these 10 locations coming up are the ideal place to do it and earn an S rank in the process. Before we head to San Salini, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Now let's do some sniping from a different postcode. Let's start at the beginning, like literally the beginning of the game. This is one of the most satisfying long shots in the whole campaign because after you've leveled up your gear a bit and unlocked higher zoom magnitudes, you can basically return here and take out this Nazi officer, one General Schmidt, a primary target, from basically the first tower you ever climb. There he is, look, thinking that you're going to have to cover way more ground before you shoot him because you've only just done the tutorial and the game's still telling you about things like sound masks and stuff. Little does he know this is not your first rodeo. Making this shot over 300 meters earns you a shiny S rank and ticks off one of your objectives before you even really get stuck in. Here's another XXL sized snipe that happens just after you start the level, this time in Bitanti Village, although you might need to do a bit of prep to line this one up. From the starting docks area, head to the right and position yourself at the back of this long walkway. Way over past the village in the woods are a few guards you can snipe from this position, but they're largely protected by tree cover. So here's one we made earlier by going all the way into those woods and marking the targets with our binos. Seriously, you don't want to see how we did it. That lot got messy. Oh, happy place, happy place. Now that we have all the markers and the silhouettes, it's goodnight Irene from 340 meters and the incredible satisfaction of getting a kill that should by rights be impossible. Okay, this one might be the most satisfying of all. You'll probably need a 16 times scope for it, but unlike the last one, you don't need to go in and recce the area first. We're at the lovely Regilino viaduct for shot number three, and isn't it tantalizing how you can see your objective straight in front of you when you start the level? You might not be able to place a charge from 580 meters away, but you can certainly fracture someone's skull. Get the old Beano's out and you'll see a few options here. Maybe you'll plump for the sniper, because it's always nice to show up a colleague, isn't it? But I like this chap on the far left-hand side, because he's slightly further away than the rest. 580-odd meters of air between you, one speeding bullet, and one S-rank kill. The Luino Dockyard is absolutely teeming with Axis lackeys, and infiltrating it is a stealth specialist's job. The bad news for anyone who's really just here for the long shots is that to make our next shot, you do have to do a bit of infiltration. Sorry. You don't have to be neat and tidy about it, just get to this point on the map and look out with the binos to this lighthouse. There's one soldier out there doing god knows what on his own, and he can be tricky to spot when the light's facing in the other direction, so hang about for a minute and wait for him to be illuminated if you're having trouble. Now that he's tagged, you could take the shot from here and get a perfectly respectable 300 meters plus, but this is a video about insane long shots, so let's push the distance a little bit further still. Head over to this rooftop and you'll get a 400 meter kill when you go for the shot. I would have gone back a little bit further, but half the base was after me at this point, so you'll excuse my 427 meters. You know how it is. What a beautiful part of the world the Abruntzen Monastery is. Look at its rustic rooftops, those huge trees swaying in the wind. I wonder how long those trees have been there, just keeping silent vigil over… well, point made. Let's get to the shop. This is another one you can do right out of the gate, and I do mean right out of the gate. From this rooftop here, barely moving an inch, you can cap off a bloke in the monastery itself. Bring out the albinos again, zoom into this bridge here, tag the fella, and you've got a 500 meter plus shot lined up. Since he tends to keep his head above the cover of this wall, this is a relatively easy one to pull off. 
Yeah, nothing to see here. It must have been, I don't know, the wind or something. Weird, right? And that's your first five. Over to you, Louise. What do you got? You know, uh, Al Pacino. What do you got? No? Okay, let's see some long shots. Ahem. Thanks for that, Phil. And now, back to the shooting people from far away. And I'll start with one that doesn't even require much legwork if you've already been through the game once. You thankfully don't need to go too far into the Magazeno facility to snare this particular sniper kill. There's even an S rank in it if you get it just right. And a pat on the back from us, obviously. So arrive on the boat and head up the slope as usual. But instead of heading into the heart of the facility grounds, go left in the direction of these ruins along the beach. Carl even helpfully says that the tower looks useful. That'd make a good vantage point. Dispose of this lot on the sand and a few extras at the top of the stairs and it's time to start sniper spotting. He might not appear straight away. But this sniper on top of this building is your key to a sweet 300 meter plus kill. While you could get him from next to these cannons, scurry back into this rubble filled room, press your back to the wall and you can snare a nice long S rank. Ah, lovely. Oh, and you could always dispose of his pal too, just to cross the T's and dot the I's. There's more to this place than meets the eye. First off, it's important to note that you won't be getting an S rank for this one. But it is S for satisfying and S for sniping through a pane of glass. Load up the GOV Fiorini Mansion level and while you could just make a beeline for Rothbauer's island abode and make short work of him there, it's much more fun to make your way around the island to find a more, well, snipery approach. If you want the death from afar achievement, you won't actually be able to set foot on the island itself. But if you just want to snare your prey with the smug knowledge that you don't need to witness Nazi interior design, you can always just beetle across to get to your vantage point. It's possible to get there in relatively ghost-like fashion, but it's always that little bit too tempting to do this, isn't it? Don't worry, we won't judge you'll want to head to this area of the map and head up to where you can dispose of some armaments. Make Rothbauer your tracked goal so you can see him in the house. Then it's just a matter of waiting until he gets bored enough to approach the window. Sayonara, sir. I hope the view was worth it. Now here's one from the final level in Sniper Elite 4's campaign. And although it's hard to stretch it out far enough to get the S rank from it, it's still worth a mention. There are a lot of uniformed people on the Reich's payroll between you and your objectives in the Allagra Fortress. And in order to get inside and take on an even more satisfying long shot later on in the level, first you need to navigate this lot. But by going in and tagging a few people with the binoculars and then returning to your start position on the map, you can line up a 200 plus meter shot on these poor chaps before you even get stuck into the fortress. All in a day's work, eh Carl? The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that this list isn't arranged by shot distance or even satisfaction level but in chronological order of Sniper Elite 4's story. Which means two things. This final entry from the main campaign contains ending spoilers, obviously. And even if we had arranged these shots by distance, you'd still be watching this one near the end. The target, for a change, isn't the calcified skull case of an Axis Enforcer but Bomb's experimental plane hundreds of metres in the air. 
there are a few ways to complete this final objective, and shooting out the engines while bombs still faffing about on the runway is one of them. But we're here for long shots, and we'll be damned if we take an easy shot in this video. So wait for the plane to take off, circle back around, and lower its bomb bay doors ready to bomb you to smithereens. Then seize the moment and scupper his plans with one well-placed and very far-travelling bullet. Mega satisfying. A little spark may burst a flame. As if this video wasn't going to have Hitler meeting his long-distance end in it. We've saved the most satisfying kill of all to last. And if you hold your nerve, you may just be able to make it your longest too. We're in the Target Führer DLC for this one, and sadly, it's not one of those kills you can just get by sunbathing in the beginning of the level for a bit, then picking off your target. Herr Hitler is waiting deep in the innards of this cliffside base. And to set up the long shot, you'll need to clamber inside this enormous underground chamber and raise the alarm. You know how. Once the guards have been alerted to your presence, they'll send Hitler off towards his escape boat, during which time you're clambering back out from the base, running up this hill and lining up your shot from the highest point on the map. Yes, I was aiming for his one remaining testicle. Yes, I find it as annoying as you do that I missed. But a dead Hitler is a dead Hitler. And one that earns you an S rank long shot is even better. You could probably earn a few more hundred meters on this shot by letting his boat escape even further. But if he gets out of range, I wouldn't be you trying to explain that to the top brass. So that's 10 long shots you need to add to your Sniper Elite 4 to-do list. Let us know your favourites in the comments below, set your sights on that like button if you've enjoyed the video, and hit subscribe to make sure you've always got the latest intel. Oh, and if you hit that notification bell, we'll even let you know when it arrives.